are trying to discuss the hypertonic, isotonic and hypotonic solutions. <coughs> and if I have a beaker and, and a semi permeable membrane and I have two solutions, okay, and, and I have been, I have been representing the solute molecules by 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 this and if if this two has the same concentration okay so okay so if their concentration is the same and obviously there are there are solvent molecules that I show by by the green dots, okay. <coughs> Understand? So, in these two solutions, the number of solute molecules per solvent molecule, you can say, is the same. And by our formula of, of osmotic pressure, CR, at the same temperature they exert the same partial pressure okay so what happens there is no net movement of the solvent molecules either from left to right or from right to left fine so such solutions are called isotonic solution iso means same okay isotone so same concentration kind of thing right it is the isotonic solution. So, so I will say two solutions which exert the same partial pressure, the same osmotic pressure, the same osmotic pressure at the same temperature are called are called <coughs> isotonic solution isotonic solution And what happens with an isotonic solution? If two such solutions, if a solution is kept with its isoton, with its isotonic solution, there will be no net movement of the solvent particles to either side, right? So, so there is no net movement of particles. Of, of I'll say solvent particles, solvent particles across the semi permeable membrane <coughs> across the semi permeable membrane. Fine. Now, now let us try to understand. We are reference is this. Fine. Keep that in mind. Our reference solution is this. Our reference solution is this. Fine. Now what happens? Okay, this is isotonic. What happens with the reference to this, with the reference to this, if the concentration of solute here becomes higher, you see, it's visibly higher on the right, correct? 
so what happens the this is more dilute so so solvent so so solvent particles they'll try to move from here from the left hand side to the right hand side so with respect to this solution this is called hypertonic okay hyper is higher concentration of solute mind it okay of solute so so if the solution to the right has a higher concentration of of solute particles then what will happen then what will happen from our reference from this side from the left the solvent molecules will start moving to the right to make it more dilute correct the solvent particles from the right start moving towards left from the sorry 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 sor, sor. from the left start moving towards the right the right correct and what happens so this solution the solution to the right say say i'll say this as solution number 1 this as solution number 2 so solution number 2 starts being called a hypertonic solution so solution 2 is hypertonic with respect to solution one with respect to solution one okay we understand that with respect to solution one the right one becomes hyper hypertonic so so the reference is very important with respect to the right one the left one immediately becomes hypotonic understand it will become hypotonic so what you are talking about and with reference to whom so what is your reference okay you are on what side that is 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 usually important that is very very important which side i am so i am talking with respect to the solution on the left that is solution number 1 so with respect to this this is hypertonic so so hypertonic or isotonic or hypotonic is a relative word it is a relative word okay you understand it is a relative word it is not an absolute thing that the concentration crosses this much and the solution becomes hypertonic no okay so so solution 2 is hypertonic with respect to solution 1 and the the solvent particles start moving from right to the left that means from from our solution to the hypertonic okay now i say that the solution to the to the this is solution to the right okay this is the solution to the right now if this is the scenario you can very visibly see that the solution to the right has less number of solute particles with respect to the solution on the left so it becomes 
a hypotonic solution. So, so if the I'm I'm concentrating on on one side. Okay, if the solution to the right has a lesser concentration concentration of solute particles the solvent particles from the if the solution to the right has a lesser concentration then the solvent particles particles from the right start moving to the to the left okay and solution 2 is called a hypo here here i'll write hypertonic is called a hypotonic solution with respect to solution 1 so this is hypertonic okay this is isotonic and this is hypotonic right okay Now it has got an interesting application in our in our physiology. Inside our body, the blood cells have an osmotic pressure. Okay, in our body, in our body, the blood cells have an osmotic pressure. The blood cells have an osmotic pressure equivalent the blood cells have an osmotic pressure equivalent to 2.9 percent NaCl solution mass upon volume okay it is it, it's equivalent to 0.9 percent in a cl solution mass upon volume now if you infuse intravenously a a solution which has its concentration lesser than this so that becomes hypotonic with respect to with respect to our blood cells right our, our, our blood so what happens if we inject uh, a solution intravenously intravenously which is which has its concentration lesser than 0.9 percent NaCl obviously mass upon volume what happens what do you expect to happen how do we take mass by volume by this we mean molarity 
or uh, not molarity in a sense. Molarity is 200. Hmm. No, no. It is mass. It is not mole per uh. per liter, right? So it is it is 0.9 percent kind of. Uh, Nine grams per liter into hundred. Ninety grams per liter. Huh? Ninety grams per liter. No, nine grams. Into hundred also, no? Zero point nine into hundred. Hmm. Nine by thousand. Nine by uh, it is below it is liter, right? So. Um, it is point zero zero nine, huh? Nine gram in a liter will give you nine gram in a liter will give you nine into ten to the power minus three divided by into hundred. Huh, that is kg. Okay. Okay. So, so nine gram per liter will make it, huh? Point nine percent. Mass upon volume, correct. So it is. This is actually. This is. This is actually. Nine grams NaCl per liter. Okay, which has its concentration lesser than this. Then what? What do you expect to happen? If it is hypotonic with respect to our blood. What happens? It will, it will seep into the blood cells, right? Then the water will move into the blood cells. Causing it to swell up. Well, so this solution becomes hypotonic, right? Uh, less than this, lesser than this is is hypotonic. This is hypotonic solution. Okay, what if we inject a hypertonic? If we inject a saline solution with the concentration. Higher than point nine percent mass upon volume, which is which is a hypertonic solution. Then what happens? 